Here's Starling by Leslie Livingston. She's so awesome. Met her at the tour. Shade by... Uh, I can't see the name. Jerry Smith Reddy. They changed the covers of these ones, so... The last one's obviously not going to match. And they're all paperback, too. So, Shift is the second one. Oops. Here is Swoon by Nina Malkin. These I got as bargain books, I believe. So, Swear is the second one. Die For Me by Amy Plum. Love this cover. These covers are just so, so pretty. This is my favorite. Until I Die. And I have an extra copy of The Calling by Kelly Armstrong because this one's signed. So, I have a giveaway box and I'm not sure if you guys want to see that. Red Glove by Holly Black. And then a cover change. Blackheart. And the, <laughs> the one book that I have here, The Power of Six by Pedicus Lore. Immortal Beloved by Kate Terman. And then another cover design. Redesign Darkness Falls. And Eternally Yours. Velveteen by Daniel Marks. Revived by Cat Patrick. The Book of Blood and Shadow by Robin Wiseman. And then this book is that this series is actually complete, and I don't even know why I haven't read it yet. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. Fire. And blue. Bitter blue. This is my favorite out of the series. Covers, anyways. So, yeah, that is the fourth row. And here is the fourth shelf of my bookcase. It's gonna be a little dark. Um, I'm sorry, I'm filming this at night. So, if it is, I'm gonna try to move the books out so you can see it. This is Cleopatra's Moon by Vicky Elvier Schechter. Wrecked by Anna Davies. Pretty cover. Lies Beneath by Anne Greenwood Brown. These are my mermaid books, I believe. Above World by Jen Rees. Wake by Amanda Hawking. The Vicious Deep by Zoraida Cordova. I really like this one, too. Sea Change by a Amy Friedman. And then here comes my... A vampires series, I'm guessing. Vampire Academy by Rochelle Me. This is the first one, I believe. Blood Promise. Spirit Bound. I don't have them all, so I know that they released them all in paperback and then re released them in hardcover, so I'm trying to co collect all the hardcovers, as you can tell. And this is the Blue Blood series. I have them all because I'm a crazy collector like that. This is the Blue Bloods by Melissa De La Cruz. These covers are... Yeah, I think they are in need of a redesign because they're not that great. Masquerade. Revelation. Misguided Angel. Van Ellen Legacy. I have no idea if this is in order because I haven't actually touched them, but I'm hoping they are. Lost in Time. Cross My Heart, which is in a vampire book, but I guess I stuck in there because of the size. Cross My Heart by Sasha Gord. And Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. They actually changed the covers of these books and I'm quite upset because they're kind of ugly and they don't match that cover. The Calling by Kelly Armstrong. The Gathering. Nearly Departed by Leah Havel. Awesome zombie book.
Vanish by Sophie Jordan. So yeah, that is the fourth, first row of my shelf. And here is my last stack of books. First stack and the one behind it, so yeah, I still have another bunch of books sitting on the floor and I'd have to um, put them back on so I can record. This section right here are mostly my larger hardcovers edition and all of my contemporary. Um, I don't have very many because I've always had trouble reading to contemporary for some reason. Here is Thorn Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. Beta by Rachel Kahn. Kahn. Not sure how you say that. Darkest Light by Hiromi Goto. Virtuosity by I want to say Jessica Martinez. Yep. And everyone has been hustling me to read this. Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I know there's Lola and the Boy Next Door. I don't know which is if they're in order or not. Withering Tights by Louise Renaissance. If you guys have read, um, what is that other series that she has? It's so funny. Um, oh, it's gonna bother me. She has that other series and I for completely forgot. If you know what series I'm talking about, <laughs> let me know in the comments because it's gonna bother me. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Love this cover. High Society by Allie Carter. The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. If I'm wrong and these are not contemporary, please let me know because, yeah, that would be funny if they weren't. 52 Reasons to Hate My Father by Jessica Brody. Jennifer Eccles, I read her love story and I really liked it, so when she came out with this one, I love, I picked it up. Such a Rush. Purity by Jackson Pierce. When You Were Mine by Rebecca Cyril. I really like this. This is a Romeo and Juliet retelling. Sometimes It Happens by Lauren Barnhold. As you can tell, um... Yeah, I did not finish it, so I might have to pick it up again one day. The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I completely forgot that to bring these books when I interviewed her. Oops. I hope she comes back. We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. It's Not Summer Without You. The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This is my first John Green book and I still haven't read it yet. She's So Dead to Us by Karen Scott. He's So Not Worth It. And the last book of the He Said, She Said series, This Is So Not Happening. And the book that it's still not read, finished, I mean, Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler. So that is that row, and I will be back. And here is the second stack behind those contemporary books. These are the larger editions, so it's kind of dark. If you guys can see, I'll just pull it out anyway. Tiger's Curse by Colleen Hawk. These covers are insane, and the cover, the paper stock of this is is thicker than most, so it's a way heavier. Tiger's Quest. I don't have any of the other ones. I believe this one is autographed. I want to say. Yes, it is. That is book closeouts for ya. Okay, I'm just gonna take that out. Envy by Greg Olson. This is the winner of the Scary Books edition that I had. A Million Sons by Beth Revis. I know, they changed the covers. Now none of my books are gonna match. I don't even have the first one, actually. Matched by Ali Condi. Finally, it is complete, so I can actually read it. Crossed. Reached. Jody Pickle is also an adult writer, and she ended up re writing a 
book with her daughter and this was really cute. I know it's for younger ages but there's illustrations and little tidbits inside. It's It was a really cute story. I thought it was really cute. Elixir by Hilary Duff. I actually like that one. I still haven't read this one because I'm waiting for the last one. Devoted. And Andrew Kramer's Nightshade. This is probably one of the most annoying cover changes because this is gorgeous. And then when they redesign them, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what happened there, but this is with Spain. I don't even know if these are in order. Blood Rose. And then the prequel series that's starting now is Rift. Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. I'm waiting for the last book so I can read them all. But I know people have been hyping this up, so I don't know if it's good or not. Days of Blood and Starlight. Love that cover. And the Leviathan series by Scott Westerfeld. If you can see Behemoth. These are heavy. And Goliath. So yeah, that is my first row of books. Um, I really should invest in a new bookcase. So yeah, give me a sec and I will take all these books out and put in the other ones. They go by theme. I tried to do it by theme in this section, so yep. I'm gonna move this over a bit. Entwine by Heather Dixon. Avernique by Brody Ashton. Alice in Zombieland by Jenna Showalter. Juliet Immortal by CCJ. The Bloodkeeper by Tessa Graden. Witchlanders by Lena Croakley. Born Wicked by Jessica Spotswood. Wish by Alexandra Bullen. Wishful Thinking by Alexandra Bolt Bullen. I think this is out of order. This one's first. Once a Witch by Caroline McCullough. Always a Witch by Caroline McCullough. The Girl of Fire and Thorns by Ray Carson. Heard awesome things about that one. Poison Princess by Cresley Cole. The Iron Thorn by Katherine Kitteridge. The Nightmare Garden by the same author. The Mephesto Covenant by Trinity Fagan. The Mephisto Kiss by the same author. And last act, Furry Fury by Elizabeth Miles. And Envy, that is the UK edition, but it is a little higher, so that really bugs me, but what can you do? I'm gonna move these books over. And this is the second stack behind those books. Eon, Dragon Eye Reborn by Allison Goodman. Eona. By Alison Goodman. This is the duology of those books. Shadowfell by Juliet Marillier. The Demon King, The Seven Realms series by Cinda Williams Chime, I want to say. The Exiled Queen. The Grey Wolf Thorn. The Crimson Thorn. The Suburban Strange by Nathan Gatecki. The Alchemy of Forever by... Uh, where is the author's name? Cannot find it. That is really weird. Oh, it's at the very top. I can't see it. Avery Williams. Tempest by Julie Cross. Timepiece by Myra McIntyre. I Hunt Killers by Bera 
Liga. And this is also out of order. This Dark en Endeavor by Kenneth Opal. And the second one is such wicked intent they changed the covers. Starcross by Josel Josephine Angelina. I like these covers a lot. They're all shiny and dreamless. Valkyrie Rising by Ingrid Pauls Paulson. Meg Habits Underworld. Yeah, these are out of order. I guess when I put them on, they're all like backwards. This is abandoned. So yeah, that is the first row. I am going to the second row so you can see all my other books.